U.S. Capitol building six hours ago. The president and a group of congressional leaders watch on television as a battle unfolds. In a stunning display of events, the Power Rangers have arrived and destroyed the giant lizard beast. That would be great if there wasn't a kiloton of rubble still above us. They'll dig us out. This panic room will keep us safe until they do. Nothing can keep us safe. We erected barricades on our cities, and those creatures kept breaking through them like they're nothing. You keep asking for more funding, but I don't see any results. Even your Shadow Rangers lost today. Then maybe... This is a war we can't win. What are you saying, Mr. President? If the Power Rangers destroyed this beast today, then maybe they're not the enemy we think they are. I say we take their assistance. I'm prepared to offer them a full pardon in exchange for stopping these alien invaders. Oh, you don't want their help. The President and Congressional leaders turn around. From the shadows, emerging from a plume of smoke, appears Ms. Goodson. Goodson? How did you get in here? Not as important as how I'm going to get out. With the aid of her wand, Goodson envelops herself into a purple light. She reappears wearing black and gold garb. On top of her head is a crown with horns. Oh my god. Mitchell. In the hospital. I thought he was hallucinating. He told me you turned into some kind of demon. I think the word he's looking for is alien. You're the alien commander. You've been playing us for months. All I want is to see your planet at peace. Your way has failed long enough. It's time for a new world order, don't you think? With another flash of light, Rita Bandora transforms herself into the President. The President is paralyzed at seeing his mirror image before him. Before he or anyone else can react, Bandora fires her wand. At the speed of thought, she has disintegrated everyone in the room into ash. Just joining the battle is what appears to be the Dragon Zord. It seems to be helping the Shadow Rangers attack the Power Rangers. It is unknown how or why this is happening. Everything is going according to plan. Rita aims her wand again at the ceiling, this time breaking apart the room. She protects herself in an orb of power as rubble rains down on her. She knows she will have to patiently wait for the rescue teams to dig her up. Now. I can't believe your plan worked, Bandora. Not only did you kill the president, but you're actually impersonating him. And these people have no idea. What can I say? These humans are idiots. With the might of the nation's army at our fingertips, there's nothing stopping us from taking over this world. But what's your next step? The Prophet told you that the Green Ranger has to battle the White Ranger. The winner becomes your servant. How are you going to get them to fight? I have a plan for that. Pay attention to the news. But what are you going to do if the White Ranger wins? He doesn't seem like the type who can be controlled. Patience, Goldar. I've gotten us this far, haven't I? Correct. Continue your plan. There's no one left to stop us now. Unbeknownst to Goldar, Catherine Hillard is outside the room, listening in on his phone call. Tears well up in her eyes. In the command center, the Rangers are watching the latest presidential address. My fellow Americans, as you all know, the U.S. Capitol today was hit by an alien creature. I, myself, was a victim of this attack and barely survived. Though the Power Rangers may have seemed like heroes in slaying this behemoth, our intelligence currently suggests this is all a ruse to earn the nation's trust. The Power Rangers are working with the alien invaders to unleash monsters on our cities and take credit for their destruction. Both 
the Rangers and the Invaders are operating within our borders, and we have learned that they intend to strike again, and soon. Therefore, in my responsibility as Commander-in-Chief, I have made the necessary decision to impose martial law on our country. All individuals are required to stay in their homes until this crisis has passed. Habeas corpus will be suspended for the time being, and anyone aiding and abetting the aliens or the rangers will be shown no mercy. This order goes into effect immediately and will be enforced by the military. As disruptive as I know this is for many of you, I ask that you remember that we are at war. Bracing ourselves for future attacks is imperative. To the ranger terrorists that are working with the aliens, heed my words. America has its own team of rangers now, and we are not afraid of you. Therefore, I offer an ultimatum to end this madness once and for all. Your team is invited to challenge my own. Tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Time on the White House footsteps. If you win, we will negotiate an armistice. If you lose, you will leave our nation and planet in peace. I expect to see you or prove to myself that you are cowards. What do we do? Are we actually going to show up tomorrow? We have to. Tommy's going to see this message. You know how much he hates being called a coward. We can't let him fight these Shadow Rangers by himself. Why not? Tommy's supposed to be immortal now, isn't he? It's not like they can kill him. No, but he can definitely kill them. Remember what he did to the first Shadow Yellow? If we let Tommy go unchecked, he's going to slaughter all of them. That's not going to do anything towards improving our reputation. How did he get this bad? How many times have we stopped monsters? And now the President and the world all think we're working with the aliens now? It has to be Rita. She's manipulating everything behind the scenes, making it so that she comes out on top no matter what happens. Think about it. If we win tomorrow, we go down as the bad guys. If we lose, then we're finally out of her way. The President said he negotiated armistice. Maybe if we win, we can convince him to free our parents? Yeah, we still need to figure that out. If the President's declaring martial law, they're never getting out of there. Is it even legal for him to take away our rights like this? Doesn't matter, even if it isn't. The people are afraid. They'll accept anything in order to feel safe. Besides, Lincoln did something similar during the Civil War, so there's definitely a precedent for it. What's that? Someone's trying to contact us. My name is Alex Drake. I'm the Red Time Force Ranger. I'm from the year 2997. I need to speak with Zordon of Eltar or any of the Power Rangers. Is anyone there? Repeat. My name is Alex Drake. I'm the Red Time Force Ranger. I'm from the year 2997. He appears to be using Kimberly's communicator. I left it back at my place when SWAT arrested me on Tommy. How did he find it? Bigger question is, that guy saying that he's from the future? He's requesting to be teleported to the command center. What should I do, Zordon? Refuse it. This has to be another of Pandora's tricks. No. We should let him in. Jace, are you stupid? Cat was the last person that we let in here, and she handed our asses to Rita. That's the point. We either face Rita now or we face her in the morning. If she wants a fight, let's get it over with. Let him up, Alpha. Everyone else, get ready. I hope you know what you're doing, Jason. <sighs> so do I. All the Rangers have their morphers at the ready. Alex Drake appears on the teleportation pad. He is a young man in his early 20s with jet black hair and dressed in a strange white and silver jumpsuit. The gathered rangers look at him with suspicion. Who did you say you were again? Alex Drake, Time Force Red Ranger. Sorry, I just never thought I'd be standing here. It's like being part of history. We have a replica of this base at the Ranger Museum, but it pales in comparison to seeing the real thing. Ranger Museum? Oh. Yeah, you guys are legends in my time. Yeah? Sure doesn't feel that way at the moment. Okay, dude. You say you're from the future. Well, how do we know you're for real? 
You could just be playing an angle for Rita or Zed. If I was working for Rita Bandora, don't you think I'd come up with a more believable cover story than I'm from the future? That's true. I'm also sure Rita wouldn't put you in such a tacky jumpsuit. Yeah, well, anyway, this timeline is broken, and I'm here to fix it. Broken how? That's what I need you to tell me. We've gotten fluctuations from this time period, but I'm not exactly sure why. I need to know everything that has happened since you all became rangers. Well, it's a long story, but let me see if I can summarize it for you. Catherine Hillard walks into her lonely house, having returned from Goldar's base. The words of Goldar echo through her head. You haven't noticed the influence the Shadow Coin has on you. You've been washing yourself in corruption since the moment you accepted the power. Bandora will have your head mounted next to your family in her new office. You serve our Empress. Your loyalty is to Rita. Oh God, but I can't. Bandora, she's going to destroy the world. No, I can't let her. You've already killed so many people. You've chosen your path. Accept it. You're evil. No, I'm not. I'm good. I won't let it control me. I won't let Bandora control me. Catherine takes out her Shadow Falcon coin and throws it. <laughs> you don't control me, Bandora. You don't control me. Cat reaches into her bag and takes out the Phoenix Power Coin. It shimmers pink. She's still worthy. She holds her communicator and clutches it in her hand. Zordon, please pick up. I need you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Back at the command center, Zack has finished narrating all the events of the past year to Alex. The story turns Alex a pale white. Oh, this doesn't sound good. Everything up to the Battle of Chicago is fine, but after that, Tommy Oliver doesn't die. He certainly doesn't get merged with Saba. David Oliver was never a Power Ranger. Catherine Hillard was never a Shadow Ranger. This base should not be floating in space. I thought the destruction of the capital was what set off our sensors. But this, this is much worse. Someone is trying to alter the time stream. And whoever it is, they've been here for months. But explaining time travel to you would be like trying to explain the theory of relativity to somebody in the Renaissance. We're talking about concepts like quantum superimposition, temporal retrograde, Planck derivatives, searching for gaps in the space-time curvature. Half the time, I don't even understand how it all works. Then why did they send you? Because I did my thesis on this period when I was at the Academy. I know your time better than any other agent. This bracelet on my arm keeps me here for 24 hours. If I don't get things back on track in that time, I'm not going to have a future to go back to. So whoever is changing history, what, told Bandora about Catherine and to make her the mole? That would be my guess. Catherine Hillard was the Pink Thunder Ranger, but she eventually went on to be, well, not a Shadow Ranger. But Kaku was the one who chose us to be Rangers. How could someone manipulate him to choose David and Kat? It wouldn't be that hard. Anyone who studied this time period would know the importance of David and Kat in Tommy's life. What? It's just a matter of making sure David was in the vicinity of the coin and killing off everyone else who might be worthy. Is someone else trying to contact us? It's Catherine! This damn day. See? I knew it. Time Cop here is working for Rita. You're leading them straight to us. I swear I don't know anything about this. It appears he's right. Catherine is reaching out to us of our own accord. Alpha, teleport her up. Zordon, wait. Catherine appears on the teleportation pad and runs toward the rangers. There's something you all need to know. It's about Pandora and the President. Kat tells them about the conversation she overheard between Goldar and Pandora. She's the President? Hold on, Kat. We went through this song and dance with you before. Why should we believe anything you say? I'm risking everything by coming here, but it's not just about me anymore or my parents. Pandora could start World War Three at any moment. I hate to say it, but it makes too much sense. If Bandora is impersonating the president, it explains why he challenged us to a fight tomorrow morning. 
Why he imposed martial law? It's all part of a bigger scheme to draw us out. Okay, what else did you overhear? I only heard Goldar's side of the conversation. He said that there was some prophet who told Rita that the Green Ranger has to battle the White Ranger. The winner would then become Bandora's servant. Prophet? Like somebody from the future? I think we found our timeline manipulator. My name is Alex Drake. I'm the Time Force Red Ranger. I'm from the future too. Um, okay. I want to be more surprised, but I'm not. David is under mind control, so I can understand why Bandora thinks he can be her servant, but how exactly does she plan to control Tommy? I don't know, but if she got this far, she most definitely does have something planned. I don't think we have to worry about Tommy, right? He's supposed to be this super powerful, invincible, completely devoid of emotion ranger. How can he possibly lose to Rita tomorrow? I'm not so sure he's invincible anymore, Rocky. When Saba recharged the Queen Power Coin, he said he had to drain some of Tommy's power to do it. What if in doing so, Saba unintentionally made it so that Tommy can now be killed? That might also explain why Tommy was angry right before he left. By losing some of his power, his emotions are starting to break out. And if they broke out because he was forced to leave a fight, oh, imagine how Tommy is going to feel once he kills his own brother. That's exactly what Rita wants. Tommy is going to be in the same vulnerable position David was. The kind of mindset that can be easily controlled by Rita's magic. With Tommy under Rita's control, there's nothing stopping her from beating the world into submission. She's taking a playbook straight from ancient Greece. What do you mean, Billy? Well, in the 7th century BC, Athens brought in someone to enforce their laws. The guy was super crazy, though. He ruled with an iron fist and ended up killing people for even the smallest crimes. Ugh, sounds like a nightmare world to live in. What was the dude's name? Dragon. It's Greek for the dragon. With a name like that, no wonder he turned bad. Okay, if Rita is trying to turn Tommy or David into her own personal dracon, then we need to stop it. I can think of the easiest way. Let's kill Tommy. Rita too while we're at it. We're not talking about this. Why not? You don't remember the hell we went through in fighting evil Tommy last year? This Draken Tommy is going to be even worse. I figure the easiest way we end this is to put Tommy back where we found him. Dead. The real him would thank us for it. Then we kill Rita and stop her mind control over David. Stop. Killing Rita Bandora or Tommy Oliver is not an option. They both need to remain alive for my future to happen. Wake up, man. Rita is going to kill millions of people if she gets control of Tommy. The millions that might potentially die are nothing compared to the billions that will never be born if my future gets altered. My parents, my fiancé, none of them are going to exist. I can't allow that. The future has to be what it is, for better or worse. What do you mean, worse? Let's just say that if I was in your position and I knew what was coming, I'd want to change the future too. Look, let's stop talking about what we can't change and start talking about what we can. Alex, you said you came to put the future back on track. What do you need us to do? Tomorrow, you need to defeat the Shadow Rangers. You beat them in my original history, but these are different circumstances, so I don't know what will happen. Just know that if you fail, then Bandora wins. I have with me a device that will freeze an area in time in a single moment and allow me to connect Tommy and Saba to the morphing grid, along with anyone else within range. Once in the grid, you will need to find the real Tommy and find a way to bring him back. I am so lost. You're saying Tommy's real self is in a morphing grid? And your device can have us all enter it and find him? So why do you need us then? Why not just do it yourself? Because I need to operate the device. I have to stay outside the grid to make sure I can pull you all back into your bodies. Even so, why us? Because the only way to make Tommy come back is to convince Saba to give him his body back. Willingly. My hope is that the love and bond you all share with him will bring him back as the Tommy you knew. Wait, why can't we go find Tommy and do all of this right now? Why do we need to wait until tomorrow? We don't know where he is, Trini. And we're going to be wasting time looking for him. We know he'll definitely be there tomorrow, though. That's when we'll fight them. All of them. Hold on. We can't go into the grid and fight the Shadow Rangers at the same time. Then we'll split up. The Thunder Rangers will stay behind and your team will go in. You guys have more of a personal connection to Tommy, so it makes sense for your group to be the one to convince Saba. Look, no offense, but 
You can't handle the Shadow Rangers by yourself. David will also be there, and he'll probably be as powerful as Evil Tommy. Who kicked all our asses last year. I'll be there too, with you guys. I know all of the Shadow Rangers' weaknesses. As for David, I say we take Tommy's help and have him be the one that fights his brother, at least for a little bit. I get it. We use Tommy to defeat David, but stop Tommy from outright killing him. Once David is out of the way, we enter Tommy's mind and stop him from becoming like this Draken guy. If Tommy Oliver is as powerful as you claim, you might not be able to stop him from killing his brother. It doesn't David need to be alive for your future to happen? We don't know much of David Oliver's life. The records barely mention him. I'm not sure if his survival or death makes any difference to the timeline. No. If there's a way to save David too, we have to take it. We can reach him too. You're welcome to try. As soon as everyone is in range, I will activate the device and connect it to the Olivers and the original team. Everyone else will fight the Shadow Rangers. What happens if we all fail? Then both your world and mine will become lost. As night falls, the rangers disperse around their base. Rocky sits in an empty dark room far from the others. Hey. Hey. What are you doing back here in the dark? Thinking. This is insane. First it was aliens, then monsters, giant robots, power rangers, shadow rangers. If all that wasn't crazy enough, now we have a time traveler. Yeah. And now we find out that the game's rigged. If Alex and Kat are right, then whatever future guy made all this happen could act again and sabotage us from winning tomorrow. So, you believe Kat? That she's back on the good side? It makes too much sense. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah. Sadly, so do I. Don't know if I can forgive her for what she did, though. All those people? <sighs> can... I sit with you? Sure. You know, this final battle is hours away. And we could lose. We could die. Yeah. So, what do you say we enjoy what time we have? Sure. Sounds good. With each other. Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, too. <laughs> Come here, Blackhead. Aisha leaps onto him, the two falling back onto the metal floor in a passionate embrace. Kim, you okay? Adam, I don't know what okay is anymore. Yeah, I feel you. I can come back later if you want. No, it's okay. Stay, please. Oh, sure. Adam walks over and sits down next to her, resting himself on a cargo container. <sighs> you know, when this is all over, if I get to have anything like a normal life again, I'm going to take a break from dating for a while. I don't think I can take any more heartbreak. Yeah, I hear you. Like, what are the odds that the first guy I match with turns out to be a Shadow Ranger? Adam, you don't know that for sure. And even if he is, there is plenty of other people out there. You're lucky only went on that one date. I had a boyfriend who died, came back, and then had to sell his soul to win, and now I find out that Rita wants to turn him into a personal tyrant. God, I hate that woman. Hey, we'll stop him. I don't know, Adam. Maybe he's just meant to be evil. This is twice now we had to fight him to stop him from taking over the world. You don't believe that. You can't. If you do, then we will fail tomorrow. You have to believe that the real Tommy is still in there. And that he's good. Or else, this will all be for nothing. You're right. Thanks, Adam. Anytime. In the living quarters... What are we going to do about our families? As harsh as it sounds, we might not be able to help them, Trini. If Rita wins and Tommy becomes like Draken, then we're dead anyway. And now that Rita's the president and declared martial law, she can hold them forever without charges. Scorpina already has my family. I'm really sorry that all of yours got captured too, and it was my fault. It's okay, Kat. We know you were just doing what you had to in order to protect your family. We might have all done the same thing in your position. We have to save them. She could put a kill order on them any moment. I agree. I say you guys rescue your family first. Can we risk it? What about protecting your future? 
they don't die in my timeline. At least not now. And even if Rita Bandora wins in the morning, and Tommy Oliver turns into what you call Draken, they'll have a chance to live if we break them out right now. Most of our parents are at Angel Grove base. If we storm the area and tag everyone quickly, we have a chance to avoid any casualties. What about my parents? If you're saying they're held by Scorpina, then they're probably at 93 Kauai Street. It's a warehouse in San Diego. And how could you possibly know that? I'm from the future, remember? And I did my thesis on this time period. The Ranger Museum keeps a database on all the villains' hideouts and the heroes' homes. It's how I knew where to look for Kimberly. Only, I didn't find her. Just her communicator. One thing I don't get. Why not bring an entire team with you? Time travel is hard on the body. Only the strongest can survive the journey. We're looking at building time ships to carry more people, but that kind of technology is still a few years away. Well, even if it's just you, I'm glad you're here. Time to take down Rita once and for all. In a warehouse in San Diego, Scorpina is in full gear as she threatens a young boy. Keep quiet, child. Haven't you learned by now? Or do I need you to make a mess all over yourself again? You eat when I say it's time to eat. Leave him alone! <sighs> you never learn, do you? How many times does your child have to watch me beat you, Hillard? What was that? Stay here. Scorpina frowns and heads towards the door. Who's there? Identify yourself! Phoenix Thunderpower! What do you mean she's not there? Should you be speaking your real voice in that office? Oh, shut up and get on with it! Where is she? I don't know. Shadow White hasn't reported in, and her human communicator device is off. That's it. I've had enough of that girl. She's outlived her usefulness. Come on, answer me! Scorpina. Scorpina, stop whatever you are doing and kill those- Sorry, Rita. Scorpina is occupied right now, but if you'd like to leave a message- Catherine? Yes, it's me. How? Ugh. Catherine, return to Shadow Ranger base at once! You don't control me anymore, Bandora, and you never will again. Bandora can barely contain her rage as she sits back in the chair. She then dials another number. So? Catherine has left us. What? Inform Ramirez he is in command now. And tell the Black Ops team to kill all the prisoners at Angel Grove Base. All of them. No more games. We have a situation, Mr. President. What is going on? I said I didn't want to be interrupted. The White Ranger is outside. What is he doing? Nothing. He's just standing outside. It's like he's waiting patiently. But the battle isn't for hours. He's here, sir. Do you want us to engage? Bring him into my office. Sir, are you sure that's a good idea? Yes. That's an order. Otis is secure. He wants the White Ranger to be led inside. I'll meet you at the front to escort him in. Bandora, we have another problem. The Rangers attacked Angel Grove base. They took out all the guards and teleported their families out. <clears throat> it's fine. A momentary distraction. Let's not worry about it. Call the Shadow Rangers and the Green Ranger. Have them come to the White House right away. But your battle isn't scheduled for hours. Just do it. The White Ranger is escorted into the Oval Office by Secret Service agents. Give us some privacy. That's in order. If you insist, sir. We'll be outside if you need anything. Let's put all our cards on the table, shall we? The President takes off his ring and reveals himself to be Rita Bandora in disguise. Bandora? How? If the people of Earth are too stupid to see the manipulation right in front of them, 
do you really think they have what it takes to go against the likes of Zed or the Machine Empire? You were the one that brought Zed here. But I gave the Rangers the tools to defeat him. Zed will come back, and he won't be easily defeated again. These people need a leader who will do whatever it takes to protect them. And you think you're that leader? I don't think so. I've studied this world's history. I know of how many empires have fallen, not from outside invaders, but because of weaknesses from within. All I want is for this world to be united and at peace, protected from any more extraterrestrial threats. The Shadow Rangers and my monsters are a means to an end to ensure that everyone listens to reason. But they're not enough anymore. I need your help. My help? Why would you ever think that I would help you? Because you aren't weak-minded like the other Power Rangers. You understand the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. A few hundred dead is a small price to pay if millions can be saved in the future. Since when do you see into the future? I don't. But I know someone who does. Why do you think I took control of your brother David? What do you mean? I know that if David is allowed to roam free, he will stop whatever hope this world has of surviving Zed's return. Millions will die from his mistakes. Do you want that? No. Then you know what has to be done. David needs to die, and you're the only one who can do it. Me? Why don't you just use your Shadow Rangers? The green power coin is too strong. Only the white light can defeat it. It has to be you. If killing David is what's necessary for this planet's survival, then I have to do it. But this is it. Once Zed and the Machine Empire are gone, you return this world back and let these people live in peace. I swear, once you kill David, everything will be as it should be. All your parents are secure in the living area. I shall let them out when we have time to explain everything. I don't even know where to start. It's been an insane couple days. And I know my dad is going to start arguing with you again, Zordon. Ay 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 ay! Zordon, our satellite images are showing that Tommy, David, and the Shadow Rangers are already at the White House! But the battle isn't scheduled for hours. If the Shadow Rangers are there, it's going to start right now. We need to stop Tommy. Remember, we can't let him become like Draken. Whatever we do, we need to do it now. It's Muffin time! Dragon Thunder Power! Lion Thunder Power! Griffin Thunder Power! Phoenix Thunder Power! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! Sabertooth Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! Outside the steps of the White House, a massive contingent of police, FBI, and military have gathered together, all waiting for the battle to begin. The White Ranger looks up as a troop transport lands. It opens, and from it emerges the Shadow and Green Rangers. Where is the rest of your team, White Ranger? I don't need them, and my fight's not with you. I'm only here for the Green Ranger. If you want him, you're gonna have to go through us. If that's the way it has to be, then so be it. Shadow Rangers, attack! The Shadow Rangers charge toward the White Ranger. With a slash of his sword, Tommy slashes them one by one. Red, black, yellow, and blue all fall. You are all very lucky you're not worth killing. You let her die. Now you're gonna join her. I did what was necessary. Like now. Tommy 
army spin Saba so as to disarm David and then slashes into the dragon shield. Sparks fly. Sorry, David, but you are a threat. One that must be eliminated. He moves in, grabbing the Green Ranger by the throat and holding him up just like he did to the first Shadow Yellow. Go to hell! You first! Tommy readies Saba to stab into David. Right then, the teleporter lands the Power Rangers and Thunder Rangers in front of the two battling brothers. No! No, don't! This is the way it has to be, Kim. David is too dangerous to be left alive. White Ranger, this is exactly what Rita wants. Killing David will start you down a path that ends with you on a throne of human skulls. You will become the very thing you and Saba fight against. No. Rita said David's death was necessary. It's what's needed to save Earth from Zed and the Machine Empire. Rita Bandora is lying to you. She wants to change the future. Alex steps from behind them, unmorphed. I'm here to save it. And who the hell are you? An ally from the future. One where Tommy Oliver was a legendary Power Ranger, who was known for saving lives, not taking them. Ignore him, White Ranger! One death is nothing compared to saving millions! Saba, you're supposed to be a force for good! Don't you see what you're doing? You're all-knowing! Scan Alex here. Know he is from the future, and know he's telling the truth. I... have no readings. But he has the power. A connection to the grid. Yes, because he's a ranger from the future. White Ranger? Tommy, listen to us. Come back to us, please. Before it's too late. He cannot. The boy you knew is gone. It was the price of his resurrection! Still in Tommy's grip, David attempts to wriggle free. You stay put! Ah! If you're gonna do it, then do it already! You already killed Mom! Kill me too, and show the world who you really are! Come on, Tommy. Deep down you know this isn't you. Come back to us! The White Ranger hesitates. He looks as though his guard is dropping when... Dominic and the other Shadow Rangers have risen and fire their blasters at Tommy and the rest of the Rangers. Tommy is forced to release his hold on David and falls to the floor. Shadow Rangers, attack! The opposing Ranger team charges quickly upon the Power Rangers as the battle begins once more. Damn it! This is not how it was meant to go. I'll set up the device. Thunder Rangers, keep them busy. All right, team. Let's push these four back so the OGs can do their job. With you, Rock. Where's the Aussie tramp? Hopefully doing her part of the plan. In the White House... All the Rangers have arrived, sir. Are you sure we can't take you somewhere safer? Some things have to be seen with my own eyes. Escort me outside. From above, a teleporter beam of light crashes through the ceiling. Emerging from it is the Pink Thunder Ranger. She lands in the hall and moves on the Secret Service before they even have a chance to react. She kicks and strikes them all down with inhuman strength and ease. Bandora! The group of agents surround the president, moving him towards the exit. But it's too late. The agents fire. The Pink Thunder Ranger deflects the bullets with a spin of her Phoenix Spear, then proceeds to strike all of the men down in a swift motion. <laughs> all of the agents fall to the floor, leaving the President alone. Help! Somebody! In half a second, the Pink Thunder Ranger takes out her sword and aims it to the President's neck. Do it. Kill me. I'm surprised you spared these poor men. I'm not killing any more people because of you, Bandora. It's game over. Oh my. Little Cat is now her own free woman, is she? Well, this changes nothing. You still killed 300 people in Stone Canyon. 
Whatever you do now, it won't wash your hands from all that blood. I know what I did. It's time you need to face what you did. Now, Mr. President, let's go show your people who you really are. The Pink Ranger drags the President to the front lawn and throws him down. She aims her sword at the back of his head. All military members take their eyes away from the Ranger battle to watch the scene unfold in front of them. They take out their weapons and aim at the Pink Ranger. Release the President now or we will open fire! Show them who you really are, Bandora. Or what? You'll kill me? Nothing you do now can stop what's to come. Zed will return, and when he does, he'll burn this planet into ash. I'm this world's only hope of stopping that. I've seen the kind of hope you give, Rita. I'd rather die under Zed than live as your servant. You don't control me anymore, and you won't control anyone ever again. Cat removes Rita's magic ring from her finger and tosses it aside. Ah, oh, hell. What? What the hell? What the hell? Shit. He's the alien commander! How long was he? What? Your president is dead. This witch killed and replaced him, and before that, she worked within you as Barbara Goodson. She has played on you all like fools for months. Made the Power Rangers villains and cast her own team of rangers as heroes. She has manipulated your fate. Now you will be the one to decide hers. Cat tosses Bandora straight into the police line. Hold it right there! You are under arrest. Back in the heat of the battle, Adam and Chad have found each other. Adam! Chad? You are a Shadow Ranger. I'm surprised it took you this long to figure it out. How much of it was a lie? Uh, not all of it. How could you do it? Why? I had my orders, Adam. Those orders came from Rita Bandora. You've been working for the alien commander this whole time. Liar! You've been played from the start. We all were. Stand down. I can't. You're a criminal. And you must be brought to justice. Inside the transport, Goldar, still in his human form as Mr. Gold, stands and watches over the awesome rainbow-colored fight. He then looks over and sees Bandora in handcuffs. He stays put, slinking into the shadows. Those who run away live to fight another day. Dominic and Jason duel. <laughs> your coins are corrupt somehow. They're controlling your minds. You have to stop using them now. <laughs> More lies. You think you won by getting their families back, Jason? But yours are never coming back. Oh, you did not just say that! Power sword! Ah! Jason now calls on his power sword, slashing it into Shadow Black's chest. Ah! Dom falls back, holding it in pain. Toys, huh? Try mine! Dominic summons his katana and slashes at Jason, sending him flying. Ah! Jason, power daggers! Yeah! Trini's daggers hit the katana pushing up them as Dominic pushes in on her. Trini breaks the lock and falls back into a fighting stance. Oh, come to save your crush. How cute. What? You think we weren't listening to you in that cell? Well, tonight, Trini, I'll be the one making you scream. Trini launches for him, but is cut off by Shadow Yellow. Stand down. You first. Billy slashes into Ryan Maxwell with his lance. <laughs> Thanks, Billy. No problem. <laughs> and here's friend zone to try and cut in. Billy shakes his head and nods at Trini towards Dominic. Please pummel his posterior for me. With pleasure. <laughs> Kimberly aids a fallen Tommy. Tommy, get up, please. <laughs> Unexpectedly, Kimberly is slashed from behind by David's dragon dagger. The Green Ranger grabs the Pink Ranger by the throat. Ah! You bitch! You were the reason my mom died. Only right that I kill you now for it. An eye for an eye, you know? 
A kick from the White Ranger knocks Kimberly from David's grasp. You need to keep your eye on the ball, brother. The two brothers raise swords and battle again. On the sidelines, Alex has completed the device, standing and exhaling as he activates it. Here goes nothing. It's on! Thunder Rangers, get the Shadow Rangers back! Thunder Rangers, on me! The four charge in and engage the Shadow Rangers. The Power Rangers fall back towards the Olivers as the fight pushes across the lawn. How far do they need to be? Further. The brothers' battle rages. My all-powerful brother has risen again. You have another choice now. Either I die or she dies. Because I'm not going to stop until she and everyone else you care about is dead. The Rangers are fools to think that you can be saved. I'm doing the world a favor by ending you. Alex! They need to get them further back. Rocky, keep going! As the Thunder Rangers force the Shadow Rangers back, the White Ranger makes his move. Enough! Tommy uses Saba to slash at David's dragon shield once more. I'm sorry, David, but it has to end this way. The White Ranger pushes in Saba towards David's belly. No, don't! Now, the grid device activates. Everything goes white.